Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel 3D Dialyst. So guys, in this video, I'm going to explain you how we can model a water tank 3D model inside Fusion 360 like this. Here you can see that this is the tank model that we had created inside Autodesk Fusion 360. So uh, if you want to learn how you can create a tank like this, uh, so you can you can just follow along this video. So this is a complete process video where I will explain you about the complete process of modeling a tank like this inside Autodesk Fusion 360. And I will also uh, share you some few tips and tricks that will help you with your modeling process so just be in the video and uh, also i will also recommend you to side by side you open fusion 360 and start practicing so this way you can you will be able to learn more so let's dive into fusion 360 and start modeling so we are now into fusion 360 so here you can see this is my fusion 360 default screen and we're going to start modeling our one kiloliter water seal tank so for that we'll go on to first we'll save our drawing so for that we'll go on to this data panel here and here you can see this is my right project folder where all I do save all my YouTube uh, 3D models, YouTube content 3D models. So I will just uh, create a first folder here. So I will just click on the new folder here over here. Here you can see I will just click on here to create a new folder and I will give it a name. Here you can see I had given the name and I will just press enter to create the folder to accept the folder. So here you can see the folder has been created. So I will just double click and open that folder. And now I'm going to save this particular drawing uh, drawing file or design file to this uh, inside this folder. So I will click on the save here to save this particular design file. And I will also give it a name, water seal tank. Here you can see, and the location is in the right project folder. So I will just click on save here. And the moment I clicked on save here, here you can see it got saved. And yeah, the uh, file will, you will be able to see the files here. Now the work of this data panel is over, so I can just close it from here by clicking on this uh, close data panel icon. So here you can see it has been closed. Now we are ready to get started. So the first thing will make sure that the unit systems are correct. So here you can see my units are millimeter right now, so it is correct. So I will just uh, decom uh, compress it from here and I will make sure that the design history feature is turned on. So the, this bottom panel here, it shows that the design history fe feature is turned on. So we'll move on to the modeling. So we'll start by creating a sketch. So we'll click on the create a sketch over here and then we'll go on to the front plane. I will just click on the front plane to create a sketch. And then I will activate my line tool. And this is my line tool. So I will just activate my line tool and I will start creating the sketch. And we'll start creating the line. So we'll create a line like this. Then we'll like this. So this is not a complete square here you can see uh, the bottom line is at a particular angle so this way you have to create your line and then you need to define all the dimensions for this one so the first thing I will define this line this horizontal line I will just press escape to come out of this if I if, if I did anything wrong I can just press ctrl j to go back and again I will activate my sketch dimension tool will select the line will drag it outside to provide the dimension will input the dimension uh, this time I want 1500 millimeters so I will just write 1500 and this one I want 670 so I will just write 670 and this one I want 750 so I will just write 750 here you can see so uh, we had very less angle here and we had made this uh, line at inclination because we want uh, since it's a water tank we want the bottom plate to be uh, inclined at towards one direction so whenever we are draining this water tank it will be able to get in pretty 100% so that's why we are making the bottom of the water tank to be at a particular angle uh, inclined towards any of the single direction so this is my basic sketch now I can just click on the finish sketch and we'll uh, orbit it a little bit from here using the orbit tool so here you can see now I will extrude this particular profile so I will activate my extrude tool and we'll select the profile uh, so by default the profile is automatically selected here you can see and uh, in the direction we had to change it to symmetric because we want to be extrude this profile in both the direction and the distance we want to is uh, want is total to be 750 so here we are going to provide the half of that so this must be 375 so that will make the 750 total uh, 375 on both the directions so I will press ok to accept the results so here you can see this is what we got so basic body of our water tank so the next thing that we are going to do is we'll, uh, since it's made of uh, 5 millimeter uh, seat metal plates so we had to make it hollow from inside to make this uh, box to make this body hollow from inside we can use the cell tool so this is our cell tool so just activate the cell tool from here inside this modify panel and then it is asking me to select the body so I will just expand the body folder from here and we'll select the complete body uh, 
I will make sure that the every face is selected. That's why I had selected from here. So we'll able to select the complete body. And in inside thickness, I just want to give it a thickness of five millimeters. So I will just press Enter five here and uh, will uh, okay press okay to accept the result. So since it's hollow from inside, so will not be able to uh, it will not be visible to you for now. But if you want to check it, you can just go onto the inspect panel here and here you will see your section analysis tool. Just activate this tool and select any face and drag it uh, to see the section analysis of the body. Here you can see. Now it is a hollow body. If I rotate it like this, here you can see it's a hollow body from inside. So this is the section analysis tool. It is just giving you a preview of your body uh, across any particular plane. So I can just press cancel uh, to cancel the section analysis. So here you can see. Uh, this is the basic body we got. So our next task is to create the leg for this uh, water seal tank uh, for the support. So that we are going to do next. So for that what we have to do, we'll just turn on the origin here. So here you can see this is my origin and I will go like this. Here you can see this is my origin and I'm able, I'm able to see all the three planes. So what I will do, I will just turn off the body for now and I will activate my offset plane tool from here inside the construct panel. Here you can see the, this offset plane tool. I will just activate this offset plane tool. Then I want to offset this particular plane and I want to offset it towards downward by minus 230 millimeter. So I will just write minus 230 and here you can see the new plane is created we can see the preview and i'm happy with the results i can just press ok to accept this particular plane here you can see the new plane has been created and what i will do now i will just turn off the body one now and i will go into the top view from the vq here here you can see and what i have to do is i have to project all the four corners of the body on the current plane um, i mean on this plane one so for that i will just turn off the origin and uh, only visible plane is this new newly created plane one and what i will do now is i will go on to the create panel here uh, uh, or what I can do I can just activate my create a sketch tool then I will select this plane as a sketch plane and here you can see uh, I am ready to create sketch on this new particular plane so what I will go on here I will go on this create panel over here and then we'll go on to this project tool I will activate the project tool and carefully I will select all the four corners of this body here you can see just the corners I am selecting all the corners and here you can see I had selected all the corners and if I press OK, all these four corners will get projected on our plane one. So if I press OK and if I turn on the plane, if I turn off the body, here you can see on this plane, this all four corners has been projected. If I orbit it a little bit, here you can see the result. Now again, I will go into the top view and uh, since we, our sketch environment is still active, we'll go into the create panel over here and we'll activate our uh, center rectangle tool from here and we'll start creating rectangles, here you can see. I will create uh, four different rectangles, four same similar rectangles on all the four corners and we'll don't worry about the measurements for now because we are going to apply the equal constraint between all the, the equal edges. So these are all equal. So almost all the edges of all the four rectangles are equal. So I will apply the equal constraint. I, I will apply like this. I will make sure that uh, all, all are equal. And we are done, I think. So the next thing is that we had to define the dimension of this particular uh, particular uh, this rectangle. So by accidentally we had moved on some different uh, tool environment. So again we'll go on to our sketch environment, and it is still active since we are doing a sketching. So I will activate my dimension tool from here. I will select the edge, will drag outside, and will give it a dimension of 150 millimeter like this, and will press enter. Here you can see since every we had applied the equal constraint on all the edges of uh, this all four rectangles. So just by uh, providing dimension to one uh, particular side, we all all of the rectangles got updated. So this is the benefit of using these constraints. So for now, uh, what I can do, I can uh, just click on the finish the sketch for now. And here you can see uh, this is my result. So the next thing is that we are going to extrude all the uh, all these plates, four plates for our uh, uh, tank support. So I will extrude. I will activate my extrude tool from here. Then we'll select all the profiles. So the thickness of this, all these particular plates are again uh, 10 millimeters since it is going to hold the weight of the complete filled tank. So that is the one kiloliter tank, 1000 liter tank. So I have, I have to make sure that it, it, it is strong enough. Still, if you want to change it anytime, you can just come over to your design history and you will be able to make your changes. So I will just press OK to accept now. So here you can see this is our result. This is what we got. And if I turn on the body one, so this is our, our tank. So still we had to create the legs uh, uh, over this support. So 
that will be welded with the tank uh, uh, on this on all the four corners so that we are going to do now so this time i am i will just go on to a sketch again uh, on this sketch tool that we had created so i will go on to the, that particular sketch will make a right click and will click on the edit sketch over here here you can see now i will turn off the body from here and now we are here we are going to create a profile and that profile will be a angle profile uh, so, so I'm going to use uh, draw here the 50 by 50 uh, rectangle uh, angle angle shape. So I will just use rectangle tool and I will create like this. Here you can see. What I will do, I will just make sure that all the two edges are equal, and I will make sure that uh, these are 50 milli millimeter size. Here you can see. Now what I will do, I will just select uh, two of the edges and I will activate my offset tool and I will offset it towards inward like this by five millimeter. Here you can I see. Had to, I had to create all the four uh, these sketches on you know, all the uh, all the four profiles. So I will uh, keep doing. So here you can see I had created all the four four profiles on all these four uh, sides. Now I can just click on the finish sketch again and we'll come over to our uh, shape again. Here you can see. Now what I will do? I will turn on the sketch from here that we had created just now. Here you can see it is on the bottom of our plate. So here is a trick. What I'm going to do here is instead of extruding this this plates towards upward upward, I can just extrude this towards downward. So I will just edit our extrude feature from here. I will click on the edit feature and instead of going towards uh, plus positive uh, 10 millimeter, I will go minus 10 millimeter. So the benefit of that, uh, my sketch is on the top of this uh, profile. So now we had created all the four profiles for on the leg support plate for the legs here you can see and it's a 50 by 50 angle kind of shape so now we are going to extrude this so we, we are going to extrude in a pair so first we will extrude these two pairs then we will extrude these two pairs and the reason is because uh, the size of this pair is different whereas the size of these two pair is different so I will just go on and activate my extrude tool from here and we will select the profiles both the profiles and these are the two profiles that I want to extrude so here you can see I had selected and now uh, I will make sure that in the extent type I had selected the object uh, up to object so here you can see and now I will select uh, the, that particular object up to which I want to extend so here you can see it is giving me a preview instead of join I will make sure that it is a new body here and we'll go on to the front view to see if everything is good so here you can see the things are good it is automatically adjusting the shape here and i will make sure that this is to adjacent faces so uh, that will make our work more uh, more fine so here you can see and i will just press ok to accept the result and i will repeat the process on the other two sets uh, other two half of the sets and we'll uh, again activate our h2 tool we'll select the profiles here you can see and we'll orbit it a little bit then we'll go on a change here uh, extend type as a to object and we'll select that particular object up to which we want to extend and we'll change here to a new body and we'll make sure that is extending up to the adjacent faces and we'll go into the front view we'll make sure that everything is good and we'll press ok to accept the result so here you can see we had just created the four legs of this particular uh, tank uh, tank body uh, to support this uh, one kiloliter of tank one thousand liter of tank so now I, what i will do i will just turn off my extra plane that we had created here i will just turn off the visibility of this plane and i will also turn off the visibility of the the current sketch now we had to create uh, nozzles here on the top to to fill the tank or uh, or for some other other purposes so we'll select that particular face and we'll activate our sketch tool from here here you can see uh, that particular top face is active now for sketching so we'll start creating that part th those sketches so we'll start with the cycle here so we'll just select the cycle uh, activate the tool and we'll drag it like this to create two circles like this of similar sizes and one small circle over here that will be go on to the the midpoint of this particular side so I will just make sure that these two circles are of equal size so for that what I will do I, I will apply the equal constraint between these two circles where you can see both are equal now and now what I have to do is I have to make sure that uh, I will activate my dimension tool and I will define the position of this circle from this end so this I want to keep 325 and here you can see and from this end I want to keep it as 375 I mean on the center of the center of the face so since it, it was 750 uh, wide so here you can see now what i will do i will uh, define the diameter of this particular circle or opening so i will just write 400 here 
and I will just uh, activate my offset tool and will offset this particular uh, circle by an amount of 10 millimeters so that will be the thickness of the the nozzle uh, nozzle so uh, th this is what we did and now what I will do I will just uh, move this circle over here and I will activate my line tool and I will make sure that is snapping to the midpoint of this side so here you can see this is my midpoint I will just create a imaginary line like this and will make sure that it is uh, touching the center of the circle and will select that particular line will change that to construction line and I will also make sure that, that I had I had to make this particular line to be completely vertical so I will apply the vertical constraint to that particular line and now I will define the dimension of this line I want to keep this one uh, 150 millimeter uh, from this face and then I want to make a, a diameter of circle of about 80 millimeters and now I will offset this particular circle by 3 millimeter so I will just activate my offset tool so it's all easy once you will get habitual with the uh, sketching environment of Fusion 360 it will be very easy for you to to do uh, uh, lots of different tasks so uh, we'll repeat the same process on the other side for this uh, I will make sure that uh, this circle is in line with this uh, this circle so I will just select both the origins and will apply the horizontal constraint here you can see it got it now it is horizontal to this particular circle and will also apply uh, the equal constraint is already applied i will just make sure that i had created an offset another circle of 10 millimeter over here here you can see and now i will define the dimension of this circle from both the sides so i will define this by uh, following the same dimensions uh, okay okay i missed the mistake i just have to press 325 and here you can see now i can see uh, we have defined all the dimensions here that's why it says that the sketch is completely defined and how you can check that the sketch is completely defined is just by going on the sketch folder here here you can see this small red uh, lock icon shows that the sketch is completely defined so now i can just click on the finish the sketch over here and here we got the profiles what i can do i can activate my extrude tool i can select all the inner circle profiles and i will just drag it towards downward by minus 5 millimeter and it will make a cut since the thickness of that particular all the particular body uh, we had created a 5 millimeter thick so here you can see we had created the cut over here like this so now we'll get the nozzle on this holes so first we'll turn on the our sketch uh, sketch 3 uh, for the to get the profiles of uh, these nozzles so here you can see this is the offset circles that we had created for the profile of the nozzles now I, I will activate my extrude tool from here and what i will do i will just select the profiles so these are all the three profiles that i want to extrude to create the nozzle so i had selected that and will provide the dimension uh, so 150 millimeter height is the dimension of this particular nozzle and i will make sure that the operation we had kept here as a join and will press ok to accept the result so here you can see now i will turn off the sketch and here we got now i have to create the flanges on this all this top nozzle top of the these nozzles so that we can do we'll just select the plane of any any one of the nozzle and we'll click on the create a sketch over here and now we are ready to create a sketch on uh, on the top of this uh, all the all the three nozzles so that we can start doing now so we'll go on to our sketch tool here and we'll activate our circle tool from here and we'll here you can see this is my circle so i will just come over here and we'll try to find the snap point of the center so this is my center point snap point so i will just uh, drag it outside to create a circle so i will make sure that i'm creating the right circle so this is the first cir first circle that i had created so the, the size of this particular circle is 580 millimeters so i will just give the dimension 580 millimeters uh, in diameter then i will create one more one more circle the, here you can see and uh, that will be act as a pcd for uh, for the holes on the flange so uh, the diameter of this particular circle is 521 here you can see we are just created now what i will do i will go into the create panel over here and will activate the project tool and i will i'm going to project this uh, I'm going to project this particular edge here you can see so I will just select that inside circle over here and I will press ok to project that particular sketch so we had uh, created three circles over here two by creating uh, using the circle tool and one by projecting the old sketch so here you can see now we had to create the holes uh, for, uh, for the flange so before uh, creating the hole first thing I want to do is I want to convert this to construction line since it's it is just for the PCD and now I'm going to create one more line that will uh, that will be from the origin to the top here here you can see like this so this is a complete vertical line that is passing through the origin and I will 
uh, make sure that that is also I had converted that to construction line here you can see now I will create a circle over here uh, I will just uh, go on to the intersection point and will create a circle like this the diameter of this circle I want to keep 24 millimeters so I will just define it by 24 millimeter here you can see now what I will do I will just select that particular circle and will go on to the create panel over here and will activate our circular pattern tool and here you can see the object is already selected I just have to select the center point along which I want to create a pattern so now I will just define the number of uh, circles I want to create here so I will just go on to the here to create uh, to define the quantity so I think 16 is the quantity here you can see 16 number quantity we are creating or maybe I think 16 is bigger I need to create just 12 number of quantity so yeah 12 is correct so i will just press ok to accept the results so this is how we had created the the sketch of the flange over here and now what we have to do is uh, we we need we had to copy this same uh, flange on the other side of the the part so that we can do uh, that we can do just uh, when we are done with creating the body we can just copy and paste it over here so we'll do on the next step now we'll uh, move on to creating the sketch for this uh, small flange so that we can we can follow the same press process we'll go into the create panel we'll project the inner sketch first there you can see and we'll press ok to accept the result then we'll create two two circles like this then we'll define these circles so we'll activate our dimension tool from here and the outer circle we want to keep it as 190.5 millimeter so I will just write 190.5 millimeter and the inner, the PCD of the holes we want to keep it as 152.5 so I will just give the dimensions and these all the dimensions I am getting for the standard fl flanges for this particular size so uh, don't worry about that if you want to use some different flange you can just uh, go and check it out the specification dot for that particular flange and you can use that so I will just convert that line to a construction line so this is just for the reference I will create a circle on the intersection point over here and I will make sure that uh, I had provided the diameter of this particular circle. So this one I just want to keep 19 millimeter. I will also I will make sure that this is has been converted to construction lines. So since this is just for the the PCD friends, and I will select that particular circle. We'll go on to the create panel over here, and we'll activate our circular pattern tool, and we'll select the origin from here, and we'll provide the quantity. So this time I just want to create four number of holes. So I will just provide the four number of quantity. And here you can see we got our flange details. Now what I can do, I can just click on the finish sketch from here, and I will orbit it a little bit to see the sketches. So here you can see these are all my sketches. And uh, now I'm ready to extrude these profiles to create the flange. So now we'll activate our extrude tool from here. We'll select the profiles and uh, we'll provide the thickness. And we'll make sure that we had also select these inner profiles and we'll provide the thickness. This, uh, so here you can see this one I want to keep uh, 32 millimeters in the thickness. And here you can see I will make sure that it is selected here as a join and we'll press OK. And uh, yeah, so we got it. And uh, Okay, don't make it as a join. Just make it a new body. So we'll be able to copy this on uh, on the other side of this uh, this this nozzle. So just go on to the feature here. Click on the edit feature and change that to uh, from join to new body. And we'll press OK. So you can see it is, it is now as a new body. That is the body 14. And now I will turn on the sketch pack again and we'll extrude this particular nozzle uh, flange here. And I will select the flange. And here you can see the whole profile is selected. I just have to zoom in and make sure that the, we are not missing anything and we will just provide the dimension so this flange is just 24 millimeter in thick and here the operation will be going to keep as join and will press ok there you can see now if I turn off the sketch so this is my result now what I have to do is I have to copy this particular uh, flange on this side so what I can do I can just select this particular body I can go on to the modify panel here and click on the move and copy tool and here you can see I just have to uh, take this create copy tool we, are, we want to make copy of this particular flange and here we have to select the move, uh, move type as a point to point so just activate this particular point to point and then uh, go on to here and click on the, the in, inner circle profile and it will drag the point then come over here and click on the uh, inner circle of the profile so it is just creating a copy just make sure that you are clicking here to create a copy and we'll press ok to accept the result here you can see now if you want to combine all the, all these bodies then you can combine just activate the combine tool and select everything 
from top to bottom to combine everything and we'll press ok to accept the results so here you can see the legs and everything all got combined but it's not looking good here we don't want to combine the legs so just press ctrl z and combine only those things that you want to combine i just want to combine these three and we'll press ok so here you can see we got four different legs with four different plates and then we got the tank as a single body here you can see now we have to move on to creating some other nozzles on the other side like on the front we, we are going to create a door uh, inspection door here so that will start doing now so to create inspection door on this uh, particular face what i can do i can just go on to the create sketch tool from here and we'll select this particular face to create a sketch here you can see and now i will start by creating a sketch but before that i want to make sure that uh, we are working on the center of this particular face so the first thing i will do i will create a line like this and I will just connect that line to the opposite side and we'll convert that line to construction line here you can see so this is where we are going to create our inspection door in the center of this particular line or 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 at, or at any position so we'll just activate our circle tool from here and we'll create a circle like this then we'll define the position of this circle from the bottom a point here you can see this one i want to just keep just 325 so i will i have just written that particular dimension to position the circle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide the dimension of this particular circle i want to keep 450 and here you can see i just want to make sure that uh, this is 450 i will just offset it by a particular amount uh, so i will just offset it towards invert by by 5 millimeter uh, so i will just provide minus 5 to get it invert and we'll press ok here you can see this is the nozzle for this particular phase now what i can do i can just click on the finish the sketch over here and we'll orbit it a little bit and we'll activate my extrude tool so the first thing i will do is i will select the inner profile and we'll drag it towards invert by minus five millimeter to uh, create a hole over here here you can see the hole we had created now i will again turn on my uh, this sketch and i will activate my extrude tool again from here then we'll select this uh, profile by uh, by this offset circle here you can see and then we can drag it to create the nozzle like this by 150 millimeter in length and we'll press ok to set the result here you can see now i can just turn off this particular sketch and uh, what we have to do now is we have to create a uh, nozzle over here so i will just select that particular face here you can see this is the face of this nozzle and we'll activate on click on this create a sketch tool to create a sketch on that particular face so now we are acting on that particular face to create a sketches so what I can do now is again I will activate my circle tool from here we will uh, try to find out the center so here you can see it is giving, giving me a snap point of the center of the circle so I will just use that and we will create two circles similarly we did earlier just just have to follow the same process we had created two circles now just define the circle so the outer circle is just 635 millimeter in diameter whereas the inner circle is just 578 millimeter in diameter and the inner circle is just the pcd of our flange so i will just convert that to construction line here you can see and i will use the line tool and will connect that line from origin to one end of the top of our outer circle here you can see and will convert that to as a construction line as well here you can see that now what i will do i will just create a, a circle on the intersection of both these things here and will define this particular size of this particular hole so this one i want to keep it as 32 millimeters so i had defined that to 32 millimeters so at any point of time if you want to reduce the size uh, instead uh, 32 i can also make it 24 i think 24 is the correct size so just reduce it and then select the, uh, the that particular circle go on to the create panel over here drag it down and activate the circular pattern tool and here you can see the profile is already selected i just have to define the center and the number of times we want to make the copy uh, on a circular pattern so this time i want to make a copy of 16 16 i think 16 number of times so here you can see that we had just created 16 number of times uh, i copied this circle on the the periference of this uh, this pcd and we'll press ok to accept the result and we we'll got the finish the sketch from here and here you can see this is the profile we got so, so now, now we are ready to extrude this flange on this particular nozzle so now i will just activate my extrude tool from here and we'll select the profile make sure that we had also selected the inner profile and uh, this flange thickness is 20 millimeter so i will just write i think not 20 it's it's 24 millimeters so i will just write 24 over here and here you can see the result we are getting i will just press ok to accept the result and instead of join i have to make it as also as a new body here so i will just make a right click 
or just leave it like that uh, just keep it as a join now again i have to create one more uh, another blind fly blind flange on the top that will act as a window for this particular inspection door so i will just uh, select the face of this new newly created flange and we'll click on the create a sketch over here and we'll project everything so just activate the project tool you can directly activate that tool by creating p on by clicking p on your keyboard so here you can see that, that is the shortcut on your keyboard and then just select the profiles that you want to project so i just selected over somewhere over here on the empty space and because of that it is highlighting me all the profiles so i want to project all the profiles that's why it's selected and we'll press ok so here you can see the all of the profiles got projected so if i turn off the body you can see all of the profiles got projected now what i can do i can just click on the finish the sketch from here and i will extrude this particular profile I, this time I want to extrude everything and I will make sure that I had selected here as a new body and will just define the dimension. So this will be the similar thickness of the flange. So I just want to keep it as 24. Instead of join, I have to make sure that it is selected here as a new body and we'll press OK. So here you can see we had created the blind flange over the door. And, uh, and all these holes we can use nut and bolts to, uh, to, mount, to mount these two things. So and these are all the standard nuts and bolts that you can download it from uh, the standard Mac Master component or, or whatever is your preference. So I'm not going to put all the nuts and bolts over here because that is going to take lots of time. So for now I'm just showing you the modeling process. Okay. So the next thing is that we had to create a handle over here. So that so the best way to create a handle here is to rotate the handle first as a new body, then rotate it by 90 degree and then join the bodies. So that is the process I'm going to follow. So just select the profile, create, activate the sketch tool and uh, just create a line that will cross through the center. So here you can see this is my center. So just create a line like this and we'll make sure that this line is uh, on on the origin passing through the origin so apply the coincident constraint between the line and the origin here you can see and we'll make sure that uh, also the center is a uh, center of the circle is midpoint of this line so we had to confirm that so activate the constraint we'll select the line and we'll select the origin and here you can see now it is the midpoint of the this particular thing so we'll define this particular line i want this line to be 250 millimeter in uh, length and then i will just uh, then I will uh, create a line like this, this. So I'm just trying to create the handle shape here and we'll make sure that this is completely vertical and uh, I will make sure that we are following the right measurements. So I will define this side also. So this one I want to keep 100 millimeters and then I will apply the fillet on the corners. Uh, these, these two corners, I want to apply a fillet of 50 millimeters so here you can see this is the result we got so what i can do now is i can just click on the i will just convert that this uh, this bottom line as a construction line first then we'll click on the finish the sketch over here and here you can see this is the profile we got then we'll go on to the create panel over here we'll activate our pipe tool and i just have to select the path to convert that to a pipe kind of shape and i can define uh, the section size of the particular pipe i just want to keep 30 and i want to keep it as a new body and here you can see this is the result we got and i can just press ok to accept the result and so this is my new body what i can do i can just rotate this body by 90 degree to create the handle or so instead what you can do uh, you can just uh, select the body and uh, activate the move tool from your keyboard keyboard and click on the free move here and then sele select this particular uh, snap point to rotate and provide the angle 90 degree here you can see it is rotating and we'll press ok to accept the result and here you can see this is my result and but it is not touching here is a problem that it is not touching so what you can do you can just select it or you can just edit this particular move and you can move it by a particular amount i think the minus 15 will work here you can see now it is touching and we'll press ok to accept the result and the position now i can just activate my combine tool we'll select this flange and this handle to combine these two bodies as a single body and we'll press ok to accept the result and now they are single body here you can see so we had completed so far up to this point uh, we are almost uh, in, up to finish to this uh, water seal tank the only two things left is that we had to create one more more nozzle on this side and a drain and a drain point on this this face so these two things are left so let's move on to making those things now i will start creating nozzle on this side first so we'll just sel select the face here and we click on the create a sketch over here. Here you can see the face is active to create a sketches. So I can start by creating first uh, the midpoint here, a line. Here you can see. I will just convert that line to construction line. And then I will create a circle on the end point of this line like this. 
and I will define the diameter of this particular circle. I just want to keep it as a hundred millimeter. Here you can see, and I will make sure that uh, the line size of this line is seventy five millimeter only. Here you can see, and I will offset this particular circle towards inward by three millimeter. So I will just write minus three over here, and we'll press enter. Here you can see, and we'll click on the finish the sketch from here. And uh, this is my profile. So the first we have to create a hole over here. So just activate the extrude tool from here. We'll select the profile. We'll give it a minus five. Uh, so it will be able to make a cut towards uh, another direction. So here you can see, I will just press OK to accept the result. So we had made a cut. Again, expand the sketch folder from here. Turn on the sketch. Activate your extrude tool from here. Then select this profile and extrude it by 150 millimeter. Since all the nozzle uh, size is 150 millimeter. So I will just press OK and we'll make sure that the operation is here joined. I will make sure and we'll press OK to accept the result. We'll turn off this particular sketch. Here you can see this is what we got. And now again I will activate my Create Sketch tool. We'll select this face as a sketch plane. Here you can see the plane is active. Now I will start creating the sketch for the flange uh, on this particular nozzle. So this we can do. So just uh, activate my circle tool and we'll follow the same process. We'll try to find the snap point of the center of this circle and we'll create two circles like this here you can see and I will make sure that the inner circle is converted to construction line because that is just for the PCD uh, and I will start defining the diameter of this circle so this circle is just 190.5 milli millimeter and the outer circle is uh, 228.6 so why uh, so much accurate measurements since we are still following the standard uh, flange measurements here that is converted from uh, inches to millimeter. So uh, just forget about that. Uh, that's just for the practice. So now convert that this, uh, center line over here uh, just to get a intersection point over here and convert that line to construction line and then create a circle on the intersection point like this so this will be the size of the hole on the flange so this must be 19 millimeter on this case so just write 19 uh, in the diameter here you can see and just select that particular circle and we'll go into the create panel over here and we'll run the circular pattern and we'll select the center point and we'll define how many times we need so we need uh, eight number of times so we'll just give it a dimension over here eight number of times and we'll press ok here you can see this is what we got and we'll click on the finish the sketch from here and we'll activate the extrude tool again we'll select all the profiles that you want to extrude and we'll provide the thickness of our flange here you can see and we'll make sure that the operation is selected join here and we'll press ok to set the result so we have just completed this nozzle on this side so the only thing left now is the uh, the nozzle on this side that will act as a drain point so we'll do that now so we'll just select the face, we'll click on the create a sketch from here, here you can see the face is active to create a sketch now and we'll create a circle over here like this and we'll make sure that this circle is touching to the face of the, uh, the bottom so I will just apply the tangent constraint from here and we'll make sure that uh, this circle is on the midpoint of this side so we'll create a line from the midpoint so this is the midpoint, I will just create a line like this make sure that it is connecting to the origin make sure that it is connecting to the origin and then just select that particular line and convert that to vertical line and convert that to construction line as well here you can see now the uh, the diameter of this circle i want to keep it as a 80 millimeter here you can see and uh, i will offset this circle by 5 millimeter towards inward minus 5 here you can see and we'll just click on the finish the sketch from here and here you can see now i will just activate my extrude tool we'll create a hole first so we'll just write minus five to make a cut here you can see it is just uh, touching the bottom face so uh, from this nozzle we'll able to drain this tank uh, 100 percent uh, there will be no water left inside if I, if we are draining from this point yeah and it's only possible uh, when you are installing this tank uh, that the labels must be correct otherwise uh, the water will be uh, keep holding on any corner or somewhere like that so here, here is the thing so we'll turn on the sketch now and we'll again activate my extrude tool we'll select the profile and we'll extrude it like this and this time also i want to keep 150 millimeter and we'll press ok to accept the result here you can see and we'll turn off the sketch now now i will activate my sketch tool again and we'll select this face of this uh, nozzle as a sketch plane and here you can see that is active now now i will create two more circles over here we'll try to find the center of the circle then by 
by using that particular point we can create two circles like this and we can define the diameter of the circles so just activate my dimension tool sketch dimension tool and we'll start defining so the outer side is 190.5 and then the pcd circle is 152.4 here you can see and we'll convert that to construction line like this and we'll create a circle on the top here like this and this is the hole this is for the hole just define this one so this is just 19 millimeter in diameter and we'll make sure that this point and the center of the circle is on the vertical position like that and then just select that particular circle and make a circular pattern here you can see it's pretty easy if you once you are uh, familiar with fusion 360 tool you can just create any sketch or design in just a fraction of time here you can say i will just press ok to accept the result so this is the flange shape we had created we'll click on the finish the sketch and we'll activate the extrude tool from here and we'll select the pro flange profiles here you can see i will give it a dimension of 24 millimeter make sure that the operation is joined and we'll press ok to accept the result so here you can see this is the tank we had created inside fusion 360 and it's uh, with all the practical details so if anyone wants to manufacture this it's possible by using this model he will be able to manufacture this so uh, this tank is uh, made up of five millimeter thick seat plates and uh, we had used a standard nozzle and everything still if you want uh, to use different nozzle shapes you, you can adjust based on your country specification and standards and uh, guys, uh, so this is a 3D model that you can uh, use to present or you can use this this 3D model on your design or something like that. So uh, also if you want me to make the detailed technical drawing of this particular uh, water tank, do comment in the video. Uh, I will try to do that for you. So you will be able to understand that how we can convert a 3D model to a manufacturing drawing. So that I'm going to cover next. So also uh, guys, if you like my video, just press the like button because uh, that is the only way you can support me. Also, if you want to uh, support my channel, then uh, don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon. So whenever we are, I am posting contents like this, you will be the first to get notified. Thank you.